Hi. In certain cases, you want to define which doc conflicts to show depending on certain logic criteria. Obviously, we can build a lot of customizations on uh, or show or do uh, uh, visibility settings in the page, but still that will lead to a lot of configuration and maybe still all the, uh, the capabilities that you require are not there. So we have selected to be able to that you can create a flow and the flow will actually define which doc configs to select. Okay. Let's get started on setting up this flow. In our use case, uh, we want to actually filter out the uh, doc configs that can be shown when our opportunity is in stage proposal price quote. So when our, we have uh, added an extra field on our doc config, which is uh, perfectly possible. And also these extra fields will be uh, part of the migration. So that means that if you're migrating your configuration from UAT to, uh, to production or any other uh, uh, stage, these extra fields will be, sele uh, will be selected as well. So what we have done here is say, well, we have created a field and we have set a value for that field proposal price quote in this case. And we did that for several doc configs. So only these are the doc configs that we want to show in the, uh, um, for this opportunity. Let's start building a flow. We have to create an auto launched flow. So that's step one. In the auto launched flow, we are going to create a couple of uh, variables. So let's start creating a variable that is called doc configs. The how you write this variable, the uppercase and the lowercase is very important. So please copy paste it uh, from uh, the uh, YouTube video or the academy. Then we're going to say that this is an, um, a collection of text. It's a collection, so we want to have at least multiple and it's available for outputs. So we're going to actually um, put all the doc configs we want in this uh, variable and then we're going to pass it back to uh, to the system to PDF Butler. So PDF Butler can use these doc configs. OK, cool. That's step one. Uh, if we want to uh, have uh, packs as well, then you can create another variable. Let's create it right now, but in this demo, we're not going to go do that. Uh, so we can say previewer packs. So that's actually extra buttons that you want on the previewer. Uh, same here. It's text. It's uh, allow multiple values and it's available for outputs. So then you can set packs that uh, you want to show uh, in the previewer. OK, let's get started. Uh, first of all, um, we want to, of course, select only the, the configs that uh, that we want. So um, we're going to create another resource because we're going to create a variable. The variable is going to be named input. And this input is of a type apex defined and it's called um, the config by flow input. This is the one and it's available for input. So when PDF butter will call your flow, it will pass on uh, a, a variable, it will fill the variable input, and this variable you can now use in the rest of your configuration to make sure that you can select, for instance, the, uh, the correct uh, opportunity via the record ID. Okay, let's get started on that. So we're gonna create here an uh, uh, get, hola. we have to have get records. Get opportunity. Um, it's an opportunity that we're going to select and we're going to select it by ID equals and then this is input dot record ID. So, okay, uh, we just want one record, one field and then, okay, just uh, we can say, well, we're going to choose some fields and we're going to choose the stage, only the stage we require. Okay, so that's done. Now we get the opportunities that we need. Next step is we're gonna get the doc configs we need. So we're gonna do again, get records, get doc configs. And this is gonna go to the doc config uh, object. The fields that we want to uh, select is, um, it's my uh, selection field equals, and then this was, um, it's the opportunity get opportunity dot stage so we're gonna from our opportunity 
you're only going to get uh, the dot configs that have this my selection fields equal the stage of our opportunity. So we want all records and uh, well, uh, we're going to choose the fields again. We only actually need the ID fields. Uh, so that's fine. We're going to leave it at that. So now we have our uh, dot configs selected. Next step is we have to put the dot configs in the variable dot configs. So we're going to create a loop. A loop loop uh, doc config the collection variable is our uh, doc config yeah the doc config then so now we're gonna add here an assignment and in the assignment say okay, set doc uh, no it's not set it's add doc config then the variable is going to be our doc configs and we're going to put add here and this is then the loop um, dot uh, id so we have a doc config and we need that doc config id done so now we have added all of our doc configs to this loop and actually that should be it so this is the logic that we have created. Obviously, uh, you are in a flow. So if you need more selections, want to do more filters, uh, fetch uh, doc configs by the identifier, for instance, this identifier, all of that is possible in the flow. You define how you want to select your doc configs. Let me save this flow. Um, Academy. Um, so get doc configs by opportunity stage okay save and now i'm gonna activate this uh this flow so i'm gonna copy this uh api name of the flow because we're gonna need that and i'm gonna go to uh, opportunity on that opportunity i'm gonna say uh, edit page because i'm gonna add a docker uh, yeah um, um, a PDF Butler uh, component on it that will actually now select all of the doc configs. Okay, let's wait until the page is loaded. I have a lot of components in this demo org, so uh, that uh, will take a little bit longer to load, but it's already done. So I'm going to add the convert component here. Let's add it on top. And then um, in the configuration, everything can be empty. And I'm just going to say at the end the flow name is this one that we have just created, save. Okay, change is saved. So uh, let's take a look if this will actually return any uh, doc configs. So indeed, these are all the doc configs that I selected via uh, the flow. So this is working fine. Uh, next steps can be that you might want to uh, go a little bit more in depth and that you want to set, for instance, also the alternative via the flow, the locale via the flow. Uh, all of that is possible. A pack ID via the flow, all of that is possible. So you just have to create extra variables, for instance, a variable called alternative. And I'm going to copy paste it because that's best practice. And that variable is of type text and it's available for output. So that can be a uh, variable that you set. You can also set another one called locale. And that's a variable called locale. Then that locale is text and available for output. You can also set one called pack ID, so that's on the, uh, um, if you want to have a pack here, for instance, like like this one, uh, you can just create a new resource called a variable called pack ID, uh, and then have that uh, text and available for output. And then you just need to add some assignments to, of course, set the, uh, um, set the, uh, all of that, uh, all of those variables. So uh, set uh, vars, and then you can just say here, I'm going to set the alternative to my alt. Eh? I'm going to set the uh, um, the uh, locale 
2NL underscore BE because I'm Dutch and I'm from, from Belgium. Okay, so yeah, that's all the stuff that you can do. And now you can really dynamically, depending on logic, define all of the parameters that are required inside an, uh, a, a component for PDF Butler.